Hi there, this is Brent Dildine with Realty One Center of Boise and today I'm just going to talk briefly about a few of the problems that uh, that buyers can run into when they're getting ready to close on their home. So the first thing you want to look for is or that you want to take care of is you want to do a final walkthrough. Uh, you need to get with your agent a day or two before closing and actually walk through the home make sure what you're looking for there is you're looking to make sure that the home is basically in the same general condition as it was when you uh, made your offer and that kind of leads right into the second thing and what you want to do is when when you make your offer Sometimes you'll include items in the sale and this could be like a refrigerator or playground equipment or maybe a shed or something um, You want to during that final walkthrough you want to make sure that the seller has left those items behind and if not you've got a couple of days to uh, Get a hold of that seller and just kind of remind them that hey, this was included in the contract uh, the third thing that you want to look out for, and this is a big one, it's, uh, it's lender problems. So what I mean by that is when you get your pre-approval letter at the very start of the process, you do everything right, you get your, pre your, your loan letter from your lender that says, hey, you can buy this much house. Um, you go out, you find the house, you make an offer, you do uh, your, your inspections, your appraisal, your title search, you're all ready to close your home. And, and move in. But right before closing, your lender is going to do a final uh, credit search on, on yourself. And so what they're looking for there is they're seeing if you've incurred any other debts um, to where your monthly payments will go up um, or even checking on uh, monthly payments that you're making right now to make sure that you're not late on any of your payments. Um, it's vitally important that if you're going to buy something big, such as an auto, you know, sign on an auto loan or buy a boat or anything that's going to in, uh, incur monthly payments, you want to make for sure positive that you check with your lender. Because if you don't, what I've seen happen sometimes is a buyer will go out and do this and uh, it, will, it will increase their uh, debt to income ratio to the point where it will actually prevent them from being, even being able to buy the home. Um, and so you just, you know, your lender might say, yeah, go ahead and do it. It's no problem. Or he might say, hey, you know, maybe let's hold off on that purchase until we get your home closed. Uh, because after your home closes, you can almost always still go make that purchase. Uh, but you want to be really careful that you don't uh, ruin your debt to income ratio and, and prevent yourself from even being able to close on the home. Um, so anyway, I hope this has answered a few of the, the, the questions that can come up right before closing. Uh, if you have any questions about buying or selling a home, I'd love to talk to you. Uh, the best way to reach me is on, on my cell phone at 208-919-2424, or you can always email me at brent at Thanks a lot for watching this video, and I look forward to talking to you next time.